name is Susan Njai, and I'm a graduate student at The Ohio State University in the Department of Entomology. Today we're down in southwestern Ohio at Ohio Valley Hops, and we're going to be talking about scouting for pests. We're going to talk about why to scout, when to scout, where to scout, and how to scout. When to scout. Weekly scouting is essential for proper pest management and maximum yield. It is important to treat pests at the economic threshold, or the point where the cost of treatment is less than the damage that will occur to your crop without treatment. Skipping even one week of scouting can cause you to miss this point and cause damage to your crop that will reduce the quality and the quantity of your yield. Where to scout? It's not necessary to scout every single plant in your hop yard, but there are four areas in which you should concentrate your scouting. The first being the variety. Hop yards here in Ohio usually have many different varieties, and all varieties are not created equal. Some pests prefer Cascade, others prefer Nugget. It's important to scout both the Cascade and the Nugget, as well as your Columbus and every other variety in the field, to make sure that you catch all of the pests in your field. Edges. Pests can enter your field both on the wind and from neighboring fields. It's important to scout both the front edge of your field as well as the side edge and the back edge and the other side edge. This will make sure that you catch pests as soon as they enter your field. Rows. As the rows and hop yards are very spread apart, it is important to scout plants in each row. There might be an outbreak of spider mites in this row and not that row, and if you skip this row, you'll miss it. Height. Hops plants grow pretty tall. Looking at leaves in the bottom does not necessarily find the pests that are at the top. So it's important to look at leaves both on the bottom of the plant and at the top. As most people are not tall enough to reach the leaves at the top, the use of a limb pruner will help. The first thing you want to do is look at five leaves down at the bottom. Now most pests hang out on the underside of the leaves, so you want to flip the leaves over um, and with the use of a 10x hand lens, examine the bottom of the leaf. This will allow you to see things like leaf hoppers and spider mites. Spider mites tend to hang out towards the base of the leaf where the stem hits the leaf, so make sure you give a good look there. After looking at five leaves at the bottom of the plant, you want to look at one or two leaves up at the top. That's when a limb pruner comes in handy. So taking your limb pruner, you want to pick a leaf towards the top of the plant, and you just want to snip it off. Once the leaf has been snipped off, you want to get out your hand lens and examine the back of it for pests. Then it's time to move on to the next plant. There are four major arthropod pests found in hop yards here in Ohio. The first being the tent caterpillar. Tent caterpillar is usually found towards the top of the vine, and they form silken tents and are full of caterpillars. It's important to remove this, the tent caterpillars as soon as possible, or they will destroy the entire vine, and then move on to the next one. The second pest is a Japanese beetle. Japanese beetles skeletonize leaves, so they eat out all of the green parts and just leave the veins. These are pretty easy to spot. They are also found towards the top of the plant, usually starting about five feet and up. A good way to look for Japanese beetles is to shake the vine. If you have Japanese beetles, they will fall on your head. The third pest is a leafhopper. Now leafhoppers hang out on the back sides of the leaves. They're quite small, about the size of a pinhead, and bright green in color. There are several things you can look for besides the leafhoppers themselves. When leafhoppers um, get bigger, they molt, leaving little white exoskeletons on the backs of the leaves. They also cause what's called hopper burn. Hopper burn starts with a yellowing towards the edge of the leaves and eventually comes to a browning. When you have high leafhopper populations, most leaves will be affected. The fourth pest is a spider mite, which is by far the hardest one to find. Spider mites cause stippling on the leaves. If you see a uh, leaf with stippling on it, chances are if you turn it over, you'll find spider mites on that spot. Other, other times, it's just good to look at the base of the leaf, where the stem hits the leaf. That's where the spider mites like to hang out.